ਸਵਾਗਤ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਜੀ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰ ਫਿਰ ਆਪ ਸਭ ਦਾ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਸਪਿਰਚੁਅਲ ਸੈਕਿੰਡ ਵਿੱਚ ਅੱਜ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਸਾਥ ਦੇਣ ਲਈ ਪਹੁੰਚੇ ਹੋਏ ਨੇ ਸਟੂਡੀਓ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਮਾਇਰਨਾ ਫਾਈਫਰ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਕਿ ਹਾਰਟਫੁਲਨੈਸ ਮੈਡੀਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਨਾਲ ਜੁੜੇ ਹੋਏ ਨੇ ਜਦੋਂ ਇਨਸਾਨ ਕੋਈ ਵੀ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਕੋਈ ਨਾ ਕੋਈ ਸਮੱਸਿਆ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਤਦ ਹੀ ਰੱਬ ਨੂੰ ਯਾਦ ਕਰਦਾ ਹੈ ਆਮ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਜਦੋਂ ਕੁਝ ਮੁਕੰਮਲ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਤਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਕੀਤਾ ਹੈ ਬਟ ਓਵਰਆਲ ਜਦੋਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਦੇਖਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਸਾਡੇ ਸਮਾਜ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜੋ ਕੁਝ ਆਸ-ਪਾਸ ਹੋ ਰਿਹਾ ਉਹਦਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰਾ ਪ੍ਰਭਾਵ ਸਾਡੇ ਤੇ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਅੱਜ ਮੈਡੀਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਬਹੁਤ ਵਾਰੀ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਕੀਤੀਆਂ ਜਾਂਦੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰੇ ਕਿਸਮ ਦੀਆਂ ਮੈਡੀਟੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਅੱਜ ਮਾਰਕੀਟ ਵਿੱਚ ਹਨ ਹਰ ਇੱਕ ਇਨਸਾਨ ਖੁਸ਼ ਵੀ ਰਹਿਣਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਇਹ ਖੁਸ਼ੀ ਦਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਇੱਕ ਚੱਕਰ ਹੈਗਾ ਕਿਸ ਤਰੀਕੇ ਨਾਲ ਅਸੀਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਆਪ ਨੂੰ ਖੁਸ਼ ਰੱਖ ਸਕਨੇ ਆ ਤੇ ਕਿਸ ਤਰੀਕੇ ਨਾਲ ਸਪਿਰਚੁਅਲ ਜਰਨੀ ਜੋ ਹੈ ਸਾਡੀ ਸਟਰੋਂਗ ਹੋ ਸਕਦੀ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਬਾਰੇ ਜਿਸ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਤੇ ਮੇਰਾ ਸਾਥ ਦੇਣਗੇ ਮਾਇਨਾ ਫਾਈਫਰ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਦ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਵੈਰੀ ਮੱਚ ਇਟਸ ਅ ਪਲੇਜ਼ਰ ਹੈਵਿੰਗ ਯੂ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ so tell us a little bit about yourself that uh, how did you get involved in uh, this process whereas heartfulness meditation you know you are a volunteer with them so what what is your journey my journey um has been long it's been uh, i would say 30 years of of uh, search for something that was missing in my life i felt like i had a huge hole in my heart mm-hmm. and uh i tried to fill it with some outside issues and um Uh, I finally met a woman who um lived in Fort Langley where I moved in 2004. Okay. So I met her in 2008 and I decided um that I needed to bring something else into my life. Mhm. And um I found heartfulness meditation and it fit the bill. Uh Um the 30 years that I've been searching and searching for something to fill me up. Uh I did a number of um workshops. I did a number of uh, I read a lot of books. I went to a psychiatrist, did counseling. Uh I I was Didn't all over anything. the place. <laughs> Pardon? Anything except meditation. Right. And so so what was that emptiness uh, what you are delving upon what was that emptiness uh, materially you must have prospered you must have been whatever you were doing but what was that lacking what you found which drove you to this path it was deep despair mm-hmm. uh that i was all alone nobody wanted me it was a real sob story okay. i had a i had lots of traumas in childhood and that right. sort of thing and something was missing i right. just did not feel a part of or i felt no love even though i had a family i had as you say success in uh working right uh people told me that i was good at what i did mm-hmm. but there was a sense of uh um, not being a part of i felt different right um and it was a very sad and lonely place Mm-hmm. and i had tried to fill that with outside issues like uh um eating or or um uh being very busy right um i had a drinking problem mm-hmm. and um i needed i felt that i needed something outside of me to bring me an identity right. so that i could fit in and be a part of and what i discovered through um uh reading books on Jung actually that was Carl Jung okay was the one who i who resonated in my heart who said basically uh we're all born with the spark of the divine right. within us and um our life is our lives are kind of a mess right but we need to pay attention and take ownership and responsibility and basically grow up right grow up accept what's yours don't listen to what's not yours right and so i thought okay i think i need to tune in so that resonated with it it totally resonated with mm-hmm. me um because <coughs> i had been brought up in a religious atmosphere right i was uh christened i was confirmed in mm-hmm. the lutheran faith um it did not have that feeling of uh inclusiveness right to me it just seemed to be a bunch of dogma do this do that and i was a f- it, it wasn't loving unfortunately in many religions this is what is turning out to be that it's a lot of people are uh, you know getting uh, just this information of just those dogmas and rituals and ceremonies and that spiritual yearning doesn't get fulfilled 
So ultimately, you got uh, into heartfulness meditation. So briefly, tell us a little bit about what is heartfulness meditation. Heartfulness meditation, uh, to me, is tuning into what's already there. Okay. Um, however, I didn't really know how to do it. So it, um, I came in with a bit of an attitude as well, because by now, I had an attitude. Right. And it was like, oh yeah, right, <laughs> show me. Right. So I actually, I started in <coughs> September 2008, and there was a possibility to go to a Bandera uh, celebration in India right. in, in 2009 okay. uh, for our uh, founder's um, birth anniversary. Mm -hmm. And I thought, okay, well, I'm in this now, in for a penny, in for a, you know, a dime sort of thing, <laughs> and I'm going to go and see what right. all this lo unconditional love is all about. And, and uh, you know, so I went. Mm -hmm. And I was, um, I met unconditional love. Okay. Um, by going there, seeing the generosity of the people who were there, right. uh, it filled me with um, a sense of, I think I've met my family. Okay. I think I belong now. Right. But I actually, uh, our leader at the time, or our, our spiritual teacher at the time, was uh, affectionately called Charaji. Okay. And I met him once. He looked me in the eye. And we had this connection that I felt mm -hmm. right in my heart. Right. And basically what he said to me was, mm -hmm. without saying words, was, come daughter, stay, right. you are loved. Um, I felt it deeply. Um, it was just the day before I was going home. Because I was still looking, what is this love? Right. So I got a very good introduction. It was a start. And um, I made a commitment then to continue. And my growth has continued. Mm -hmm. It has deepened. Um, I've gotten away from uh, all looking for the outside to fill my inner needs. OK. Um, and when we talk about inner needs, Mayana, tell us, uh, you know, today, everybody is in a pursuit of happiness, despite having everything, and especially in the developed yes. world, what not we have, but still we are not happy. Mm. So when you talk about that yearning for that inner uh, self or your inner needs, mm -hmm. can you elaborate what are those inner needs which need to be fulfilled, which can give us that joy, bliss, happiness? Well, what I've come to find is that um, setting aside my ego, my need to shine, mm -hmm. uh, pride, I, I've had to address all the, like the seven deadly sins, basically. Right. I found that I had practically all of them, you know, through the years. Mm. Um, what's given me a, a greater sense of joy is, um, is doing for others, mm -hmm. being there for others, listening right. to what other people have to say. Mm -hmm. Being quiet when I need to be quiet and just listen is, is tremendously and just, I've had a journey with my mother that has helped me right. very deeply um, incorporate the things that I've been, that I've read and I've taught all through my life. I wanted people to see me for who I was, mm. you know, and um, so rather than chasing happiness with outside things, right. a new coat, a shiny necklace, a uh, new pair of earrings, um, um, outside opinions of, oh, aren't you doing wonderfully today? Don't you look good? You know, mm -hmm. this sort of thing. Um, it's, it's not any of those things. A right. new car, a great marriage. Uh, it, it's, it's an inside satisfaction that what can I bring to the world? Right. What can I do? What are my gifts? I've been given gifts. So from me to we. So from that me, perspective changes. It totally changed. My whole attitude changed right. to be we and us. And I am not alone. Right. And it's not about me. Mm -hmm. It's about that greater gift to um, what can I do for the next person mm -hmm. who is suffering. Right. And not to... It, it, not to preach, not to cram anything down anyone's throat, but basically to share my story. I think that's basically it. 
That's all I've got. Mm -hmm. That's all I've got. And this part, no, there's a divine power which everybody believes in, which guides you, which uh, instructs you, and this is what we are taught. Now, when we talk about heartfulness, mm -hmm. so in this, what is the basic concept? Like, uh, just if you can elaborate this and tell us for our viewers as to when you talk about you preach a heartfulness meditation. So what do you mean by that? What practices do I have to do? What not to have to do and what I have to do? Uh, what are those things? Basically, it's um, sitting quietly and doing nothing except to focus your <laughs> focus your um, focus your thoughts on, the thoughts on your heart. Your okay. heart is the seat of the soul. Right. The soul has the divine, right. the sacred, and um, so in the morning, uh, I meditate for an hour in the morning. Mm -hmm. uh, in the afternoon. I do a cleaning process, okay. which is a wonderful tool, which helps me to um, let go of all the complexities and the impurities that have been built up during the day and all the impressions. Right. And the samskaras, which are deeply, uh, which are, have been, uh, which are there from generations, I think, really. Right. Um, and in the evening, there's a, there's a prayer mm -hmm. at nine o'clock, which okay. is a, uh, prayer that all mankind is being filled with the spirit of the divine and we are all uh, connected we are all brothers and sisters throughout the world throughout mm -hmm. uh, throughout the globe and uh, we are growing in loving kindness and uh, uh, we're honoring one another mm -hmm. whatever it is it's just a sense of we yeah, are all connected so that at nine o'clock everywhere you know, in all the time zones, somebody is meditating, mm -hmm. and we're feeling that sense of connection. Right. Yes. What do you feel uh, while on, there are two pr thoughts, I would say, which are going on today in this world. One is that uh, evil is increasing, but on the other hand, we also find people like you, other organizations, who are talking about the spiritual path. Mm -hmm. And this path is also growing earlier. If you used to talk about these issues, nobody was interested in it. But yeah. of late, people have started delving into it. They want to know who they are, why they are here, what is mm -hmm. their purpose, mm -hmm. what they can contribute, and how they can bring about the change, what we all want, the concept of peace, love, oneness, yes. self-realization. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So why do you feel that uh, we are not able to understand our purpose over here? Why is it that we just get entrenched in more and more of that materialistic uh, mm -hmm. thought and commercialization keeps on engulfing mm -hmm. us and we are not spending time on ourselves? It's easier, and I find that as a, as a struggling human being, it was easier to take something from the outside mm -hmm. um, than spend the time to be quiet and uh, reflect inwards. And there's so much negativity everywhere you go uh, that it's easier to latch on mm -hmm. to the negative and feel that you're part of a group that does that mm -hmm. Uh, than to focus on uh, the love. And sometimes we feel powerless as a loving human being. Right. Because uh, the negativity, the evil, whatever, the voices are louder. The voices are lo louder um, and you sort of have a tendency, oh, I better go that way. Right. Because I might miss out on something. Right. Um, I don't know, you know, like it, it's really, really difficult to, uh, but I think that going the, being, um, having fear, a fear-based society is negative, but it's easier because it's, it's, it's everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, so how to ground yourself to be out of this? That's what the question is. Okay. Is briefly, if you can tell us oh. in a minute or so as to how to be out of this, because Evil always attracts. It's always easier yes. to go to the negative. Exactly. But how to be grounded that you are not enticed by the okay. outside influences and you remain strong? Basically, what I had to do was do the opposite. Mm -hmm. um, that was the voice. Go the right. opposite way. Okay. Do the 180. Uh, wherever my mind is taking me, do the do the do the opposite. And I had to practice that very right. strongly. And go take uh, pause. And in the pause, I found the truth. Right. And it's a, it's can be a scary place because you don't know what's going to happen there because mm -hmm. I've never been there before, that sort mm -hmm. of thing. Go into the heart. Know that 
be silent, be still, mm -hmm. um, turn off the TV. I had to turn off the TV, turn off the news, uh, don't read the paper, don't read every, believe everything you right. see, go the opposite way. Mm -hmm. And slowly I can go back to those things, but now I have more discernment, but, but, my, but heartfulness practice taught me that. Right. Uh, discernment, clarity, focus, but starting from going within. Wonderful. Uh, thanks for this basic introduction. It was a pleasure talking to you. Thanks for your time. Thanks very much, Harpreet. Thank you. you. पर 2009 ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਤਬਦੀਲੀ ਆਈ ਜਦੋਂ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਇਸ ਹਾਰਟਫੁਲ ਮੈਡੀਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਦਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕਨਸੈਪਟ ਉਸ ਨੂੰ ਸਮਝਣ ਦੀ ਕੋਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਕੀਤੀ ਇਹ ਹੈ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਬੇਸਿਕਲੀ ਆਪਣੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਚਾਤਮਾਰਾਂ ਦੀ ਲੋੜ ਹੈ ਬਾਹਰਲੇ ਪਾਸੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਜਾਣਾ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਆਕਰਸ਼ਿਤ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਕਰਦੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਬਾਹਰ ਦੀਆਂ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਪਰ ਜਦੋਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਮਾਂ ਕੱਢ ਕੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਲਾਈਏ ਆਪਣੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਚਾਤ ਮਾਰੀਏ ਤਾਂ ਫਿਰ ਹੌਲੀ ਹੌਲੀ ਟਰਮਾ ਆਂਦਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸਮਝਦੇ ਹੋ ਕਿ ਮਕਸਦ ਕੀ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਇੱਥੇ ਆਉਣ ਦਾ तो जो जो डिसर्नमेंट होती है पता लगता है कि की कारण है जिस कारण असि इथे आए हैं तो उस तो बाद फिर बाहर दी चीजें इन्फ्लुएंस नहीं कर दिया तो मन अंदरों ही करता है कि असि उस रास्ते पे तुरिए जिस नाल के सानू शांति मिल सके जिस नाल के असि खुश रह सकिए